Hey, hi everyone. This is Nitesh, founder of Stockmock. I hope everyone is taking good care of themselves in this pandemic time. I'm also trying, but I'm having a little cold today, so kindly bear with me. Before we start, a very quick update. We now have 25,000 users signed up on the platform. I'm really grateful to all the options trader for finding this tool useful. Thank you so much. Now this video is about introducing the new big feature that we have been working on for quite some time. Up till now, Stockmark has been an individual backtester, which means you can only run one strategy at a time. But we always knew that if we can have a feature which allows to backtest multiple strategies together and then allow performing operations on them, then it can be a game changer. Therefore, we have worked really hard to present this feature in a simple yet efficient fashion. And we call it basket backtesting. So without further ado, let me show you what basket feature is and uh, let me share my screen with you. I hope you guys can see the screen. So now you will see in this basket feature, this basket tab is there right on the top. You click on that. Now basket as the name suggests that basket means having multiple strategies together. So to use this feature, you have to create a basket and add strategies in it. So let me create a dummy basket here. So let me call this basket as demo basket. This basket will be created and then we have to add strategies in it. The UI is as is similar to what you have seen in the home page or as an individual backtesting. You can either create your strategies here, whatever you want to create, you can give them the name and then add the strategy or you can also import your saved strategies from here. So what I will do is just to show you the demo, I will import a simple short straddle from here and let's say I do and since I'm a nifty guy I'll do nifty strategy at 9 30 to 3 o'clock let me call it okay the short straddle name is fine let me add the strategy so once I click on add strategy this strategy is added in the basket as you can see this is added let me add more strategy from here this add strategy button I will import now short strangle Let's do this. Let's not, let's change nifty to it. Let's call it short strangle. That's fine. Time is 9.30 to three o'clock. Same, it's intraday strategy. Let's add it. So we now have two strategies in our basket. One is straddle, one is strangle. Now let's add one more strategy. Let's add short straddle again. And now let's put Let's make it a different strategy by adding a different kind of stop loss here. Let's say I add 25% stop loss. And since we have been doing Nifty, let's do Nifty. Let's add the O. Oh. So as you can see, since we already have one strategy called as short straddle, we have to change its name. Let's add 25 SL in it. Okay. So now in this basket, I have three strategies, straddle, strangle, and short straddle. Just to check my strangle is also nifty. Yeah, everything is nifty. So now one very important thing to note here is that these all strategies will run from this date to this date. It means basket will allow you to run the strategies from the given time frame, this to this. You cannot run one strategy on different time frame, another on different time frame. This is very important. Second thing is, since we have Nifty data available from 15 February 2019, so if in your basket, if you have any Nifty strategy, you cannot go beyond the date of 15 February. Just like if I click on it, it will go back to 15 February 2019. So if in your basket, you have even a bank Nifty strategy as well, but there is at least one Nifty strategy, then also it will, know, it will not go beyond it. So if you want to try a bank nifty strategies, create a bank nifty basket altogether, which do not have nifty strategies so that you can try from January 1st, 2017. That's one thing to note. Second thing is 
even if you have created a strategy that you want to edit, there is a very simple edit button right there on the top and the delete button as well. Okay. Now I'll explain you other parts in this basket. As you can see, we have added the run button parallelly to the strategy so that if you want to run one strategy, you run it individually. But if you want to run all the strategies at once, there is also a button in the bottom left right side, run all strategies, which will run all the strategies together. I'll show you how it works. Now this configuration that you can see here of adding the slippages and uh, filtering the days is very important. This is given for the user convenience. And right now it is not getting saved with us. So whenever you create a strategy, you will see the default behavior like this. Now, what does this represent? This represents that if you want to run the strategy and you don't want some days to be there, you can filter before running the strategy as well. Now, this does not mean that after you run the strategy, you cannot change this configuration. You can, but this is just for convenience that you can do all the things at one place together. Like more, what most people do is they don't want to see the Saturday results. So they exclude the Saturdays. They want to add, add some kind of slippages so they can add it beforehand, before even running the strategy. So that they can see all the results with this configuration. And if they want to change it later, they can also change it. Now let me run the strategies. Now, when you start this button, you will see the loader going on there and whatsoever results is coming in, it will be shown as a ticker that this result has come. Now this has come and you can, but, and when all the results are there, you will see the strategies with the ticks right there. Now you can go downwards and you will see this combined statistics. Now this combined statistics shows that this is the overall result of your strategies. That means if you would have traded short straddle strangle without stop loss and one with stop loss in Nifty, you would have gained this much amount of money. Okay. And if you, if we go below it, you will see this new table and this is very, very informative table comparing of statistics. It means the above one is the combined stats. But if we want to see the individual stats of them, yes, there is an option which we are, which we can compare right next to each other. So the strategy one, uh, there is a button next to it, I button. So if you want to see the strategy name you have put, you can hover over it, short straddle, short strangle, and then this is short straddle with 25 stop loss. Now you can see all the results in there. So if, if I want to put, if I want to check this average day profit, I can see this is minus 66 in first minus 200 and it's very good in 520. So you can compare your stats directly. Now this monthly breakup is of combined result. If you would have done all the three strategies together, this is your result. Now, if you go below, you can see this correlation matrix. This is important for some people, some traders, I mean, and why it's important is, uh, Generally, when people are merging the strategies, they prefer to take the strategies which are negatively correlated. I'll explain you what correlation is. Correlation actually falls from the range of minus one to one, which means if the value is one, it means they perform exactly same. It means one is giving the profit of 100 rupees, another is also giving the profit of 100 rupees. If it's minus one, it means they are moving exactly opposite to each other. If, if one is giving the profit of thousand rupees, another is giving of minus thousand rupees. So people prefer to take those strategies which are negatively correlated so that if one gives the loss, then other tries to make up for it. So correlation matrix is important for some experienced traders. We have got this feedback and that's why we added it. So you can see and compare this S1 with S2 is like 0.55. This means it's positively correlated with that. But if we see S1 and S3, it's negatively correlated. It means if we do these two strategies together, S1 and S3, then probably we will minimize our losses because if one is giving a loss, another is trying to make up for it. 
okay but this also means that your profit will be compromised because if one is giving a profit then other will take a part of it but that's okay the next is a graph it's a simple graph of combined stats combined result you can have a look at it now if you go below this you will see that we have shown the combined result break up with each day so this day your overall profit is this and we also show the individual contribution of the strategies like s1 has contributed 722 rupees this one has 426 rupees this is 191 rupees so we show the individual breakup of how the strategy profits have behaved and if you go below you will see we have shown the breakup of each and every day there now when we were implementing this we asked ourselves that since we are showing so many things to the users it's a responsibility that we also show individual results in detail to them so for example if a user is back testing straddle on our home page we show so many results related to that breakup of the results so then we decided that we'll show that results as well to the user so you see the three tabs in there s1 s2 and s3 you click on S1 and you will realize that it has all the details we show in the home page. That this S1 strategy result is this. It has monthly breakup as this. Excuse me. <clears throat> and this has a graph as this. Expiry tab result, breakup of this thing as this. Everything is shown here. So whatever you see in the on the home page, we also show here. So in a nutshell, if I tell you that this basket page has much more information than the home page so if you use it effectively it'll be very helpful to you one other thing to notice if you see that this s1 by default has slippages of 0.2 percent and filtered filtration of saturday here because we did it on the top if you remember before running the back test we added the slippage right there and it's still intact which means listen to this very carefully that whatever configuration you do on this page it affects the result right away so for example if i do and you can check on s2 as well this is the s3 as well so just to show you this let's say i remove friday from s3 and uh, thursday from s2 and in s1 let's do 0.4 percent slippages okay so now whenever i have done this changes even below i go to the top and see all the results and all the calculations are affected as per the configuration that i have done so please whenever you are uh, using this feature make sure whatever changes you do see the results right away it is very very fast we have done calculations at a very fast speed so whatever you want to do the changes the results are very quick and you can see on the top whatever changes we have done it's reflected on the top as well so even after results come you can use the upper configuration let's say i want to add friday there and you see the results gonna change right away let me click friday so let's as soon as i click friday i see wow the results are changed okay and one other very important feature you must see this include feature okay what does this include means this means that whatever strategy you have back tested above all of them are taking part in the calculation but what if i want to find the combination that okay i don't want s3 to be the part of my calculation then just exclude this as soon as i you exclude this every calculation is taking place based upon s1 and s2 only and if you go down you will see s3 is now not in the picture s1 and s2 is there if you go down s1 and s2 is there s3 is entirely removed so this also helps users a lot it will help traders a lot if you want to include it include it back that's the part of the fun now i will tell you one other important thing about this thing let's say you have back tested these three things short straddle short strangle and this short straddle 25 now you realize that no i want to also add one more strategy to it in this back test only in this basket only then yes you can add it just add the strategy here now let's say i want to test short straddle 
with uh, 30 percent stop loss i want 30 percent stop loss let's see 30 percent stop loss this nifty nifty same entry time same exit time and let's say i have 30 sl in place i add my strategy now when you add your strategy you might wonder that damn since i have all the three already run sh shall i run all the strategies again no you don't have to if you click on this run all strategy everything will run again but you don't see the three strategies on the top has already been run you see the ticker there you just have to run this strategy and when you run this strategy let me run it it will automatically append the results to the existing one so if you go below now you will see the s4 is already taking place so you can see yeah it's the s3 is the s4 is there and if you hover over it on the eyes short straddle 30 sl it's there so you can do so many things with it and uh, i'll tell you some more things about it yes so right now we have added some limitation that in a basket you can add 10 strategies and you can create maximum five baskets at a time and i think this is this is good to start with this is very good to start with okay now one more thing that we have launched this feature to some of our beta users last week and since this feature we have tried to kept it so generic that we left it up to users that how they how they want to um, see this feature so when we launched this to some of our beta users last week first of all everyone was very very happy secondly how they have tested it in a different fashion i was amazed to see that i'll tell you something now okay let's remove this basket feature i'll directly show you how they have used this feature first thing is they have used this feature for the comparison so let's say it's a comparison back basket how they have done it is let's say i'm doing a straddle at 9 30 till 3 o'clock for nifty since i'll do all i'll always back this nifty i'm a nifty guy and uh, now there is a confusion there has been a confusion to some traders that uh, they want to do straddle but they don't know their stop losses so they want to have all the stop losses parallel to them results parallel to them so that they can evaluate faster so what they do is what they have done what our beta users have done is they have created and all this i am saying after taking permission from them that shall i reveal what you are doing and they were all very excited and happy to say yes please so i have created a short straddle since the name is not good and not not clear enough i'll rename it it's like uh, 20sl i'll call it 20sl so they have created a 20sl the same thing what they have done is 25sl it's like 25% 25% nifty nifty time is right so it's like 25 sl and then adding it for the import save straddle it's very simple nifty nifty study sl study sl obviously you get the idea now okay and this has been a before this basket feature this has been a painful process because i'll tell you how now they want to obviously remove saturdays people don't prefer it okay so now what they have is they can run these three things run all strategies now i'll tell you why it was a painful process earlier before basket they have to download all the results then go to excel then merge the results and then start to compare and now they just have to go to the compare stats and see which one is better is as you can see the first one is 20 20 sl this is 25 sl this is 30 they can easily see that no in all these 25 sl is working better and they can compare other stats as well okay it's maximum profit is better than the 20 sl let's try more let's add 35 sl do it what will happen to that so that's how they were trying it comparing the different strategies to find the best one is how they some of the beta you beta users have been using it okay when they add the strategy obviously i've done a blunder because i've added bank nifty it should be nifty by the way you get the idea okay let's close it let's move it so this is one of the ways the 
experienced options traders have used it last week, our beta users, okay. Another way that they have used is this, multi-day basket. And what is multi-day? I'll explain it to you. Some of the users or other more than half of our users are trading different strategies on different days. So for example, they might have straddle with the 20% SL on, on Friday. So they have a Friday as a different strategy and they have different strategy on, let's say it's strangle. Let's say it's a strangle. Okay. For the bank for Nifty and they have 30% SL on Monday. Okay. So now they have different strategy on Friday, different strategy on Monday. They have different strategy on, let's say I have Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. They have a different strategy. Let's say I have a inverted strangle. That's my favorite actually. <laughs> so inverted strangle they have, and uh, they have the same strategy on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, and rather a bigger stop loss, rather 35% stop loss, let's say. So uh, these are all just examples. Please don't consider that these are some recommendation for any strategies. These are not. So this is just to give you an idea that people have found in stock mock that some strategies work better on one days and some on another days. And therefore they have created some strategies, but the problem is they have never seen what are the combined results. Let me run the strategies. They have never seen what is the combined result of that. And for this, what they have done earlier is they again exported to CSV. They have merged to Excel to see what is the combined stat for that. But for now, they don't have to do this. Okay, one thing that I've done wrong is I have select I have to select the right days. So let's first of all add the filters. Okay, Monday. Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. I'll, I'll again remind you that these are the configurations that you can change before and after that as well. So after you do the configuration, do not click on run back test again, run all strategy. These will be filtered automatically. So if you go below, you will see, yeah, wow. Earlier I have to go to Excel for this and now all the results are in front of me, in front of me that, okay, if I trade these strategies on individual days, these are the results, that's great. And they can use this exclude include feature to see which one is having, which one is uh, having the better results. They, if say if they stop trading on Monday, what happens? Yeah, they are having a better result now. So they can now find a better strategy for Monday that contributes to their overall list. And you can go below as well to check if S1 is correctly selected. Yes, S1 is Friday. Yes, it's Monday. Yes, it's Tuesday and it's Thursday. And whatever changes you do here also, it is the part of configuration. It will affect the entire results right away. It's very, very fast. So this is the second way that I've seen the traders have used this basket feature. Now the third one and my favorite one is this. Finding best combo, combination. Now this one is, I don't know if it's a secret or not. Many people know about it, but I'll still reveal it to you. What happens is, let me first of all, create a strategy. Let's say again, I'll start with strategy because it's easy for you to make. So don't assume 930 is the best one. It's not <laughs> so many other times are best. So just for the sake of this demo, I'm telling you, let's import straddle at 25% stop loss. Okay, for nifty, I'm a nifty guy. And uh, this is like, uh, the time is 9.30, okay. So I have this strategy at 9.30 for the straddle, but what people now have done is, they are not trading only one strategy in a day. What they're doing is after certain interval of time, they are trading the strategy again and again, so that if market reverses, not all of their trades are in loss. So other strategies cover up for their losses, but they don't know what's the best combination. Shall they go for 9.30 and 10.30? Shall they go for 9.30, 11 o'clock? Shall they go for 9.30, 11.30? So that's how people are using it. What they're doing is they're adding the strategy at various time intervals. Short straddle, let's say I add at uh, the same thing that I do. 
here as i hope you guys get the idea 9:30 and 10:30 here so this is the same strategy but the timing is different if i can see it again yes the times are different okay no it's not 10:30 okay but the times are different now what they have done is they have added same strategy again and again let's say it's 25 25 nifty nifty and they have 11:30 11:30 timings add the strategy again add one more strategy which is like short straddle this 25 sl 25 sl or oh, you may also increase or decrease your stop loss based upon what number is comfortable to you okay this is 1230 let me add the strategy so what they've done is now they want to find the combination so what what they've done is they have figured out all of these things and they are testing it all together and i'll explain you after i run the strategy you see i have run the strategy now it's running results are coming let's go down yeah all the results have come now okay so now what they are doing is they are not trading all the strategies they are using this include feature very 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 effectively what they are doing is this they know that s1 is 930 10:30, 11:30, 12:30. They are removing all these things, and they are now checking the best combinations. Is S1, S3 is a better combination, and then checking their correlation statistics, or S2, S3 is a best combination, or S2, S4 is a best combination, or three of them are the best combinations in this. You getting the idea, right? So. i i was very amazed to see that this general just generic feature has been used in such fashion so now i'll stop sharing the screen and uh, i'll start my video again just to let you know that this generic feature has been used in a beautiful fashion by the traders which we, beta users for us so i request you to use this feature in whatever way you can and uh, use this feature as per your convenience and see what best you can come out so at last i would like to say sincere thanks to abhishek who has been with me from day 1 in the stock market journey because he has done most part in this feature so thank you so much and thanks to our beta users as well so thank you take care bye bye